All right, so I got the infamous uh, clunk thud going on in a Land Cruiser. And from everything that I researched, uh, it seems to be the drive shaft. The U-joints and the slip yoke need to be greased. Apparently this is something that you should be doing commonly, roughly every oil change or every other oil change and so forth. It's probably never been done. I have no idea. Uh, but it's a fairly simple task from what I've researched. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna show you how to do it and what I'm using. So this right here is the grease that I bought. Now this is uh, palladium uh, from Valvoline. This is 3% molly, so it's good for heavy duty stuff. Uh, you know, if you're gonna do any kind of off-roading or anything like that, uh, that's heavy duty. So Toyota recommends the NLGI number two level grease. Uh, that's what this is. And of course, I will link all these things down below for you guys to pick up yourself. Uh, but yeah, I decided to go with this one. Uh, it is uh, a little bit more water resistant. So if you're doing any kind of water traveling, uh, you're gonna wanna continuously grease your drive shaft after you've done that trip. So if you go through a bunch of water passings, make sure you're greasing. So that's the grease. And I picked up uh, this Bravex grease gun here. Uh, we're gonna put it together, I haven't put it together yet, but this is how it comes. I did a lot of research on reviews on Amazon, and this one had the best by far of the one I found, so uh, hopefully it works good. put some uh, grease in the grease gun. Now if you've never used a grease gun before like I have, I'm going to share with you what you need to do uh, that hopefully we avoid any messes and do it correctly. Uh, this gun at first glance appears to be a very nice gun, uh, very well built, uh, so hopefully it performs the same. So we're going to want to unscrew this, take this off. So obviously you're going to need to make some space in there. So you're going to need to, there you go, just pull it back. So just pull the plunger back. I think the release is right there. So we wanna be very careful. So once you pull it, it will lock in place and this is the release. So if you release it while the grease is in there and you have not sealed it, uh, yeah, you're gonna have a mess. All right, so let's go get our grease. And pop the top off. So this side goes inside the tube first. So you wanna go ahead and insert it like so, just like that. And now remember, avoid hitting this, otherwise, pew! gonna be a little wild if that happens. All right, so now you wanna take the can off. Peel it nice. All right, we're gonna screw this on. Now here's an important part, is that you wanna avoid screwing it on all the way. So I'm gonna tighten it up and then just loosen it just a little bit because we want to relieve the pressure. And you wanna twist and push. Basically relieving all of the air out of there. And instructions say to do this once you see, till you see grease. And I see grease. Okay, so now we're going to tighten it down and then hit this release and push it all the way in. Just keep twisting, keep twisting. Now it's all the way in. Grease gun should be good to go. We're gonna pump it and make sure we're getting some grease out of here. And there we go. Grease is coming out nice and good. And we are ready to hook it up to the Zerks and pump some grease into this drive shaft. We're gonna do this one first. This is the U-joint, and you should be pumping it until grease comes out of here. So we're gonna hook it up. Is grease gonna touch me? <laughs> oh, I don't like your no answer answer. All right, so get that seated on there. We're just gonna pump. Hear that? Can you see it over there? Okay, so right there you see grease coming out. So you're gonna keep pumping and get all that old grease out. Oh yeah, grease coming out. Oh yeah, Ooh. Starting to pump that real good. You can't really over grease this at all, so I think that's probably good. Not, there we go. Oh. All right, so we want to clean the grease off with this excess grease the best you can because it'll just fling everywhere. But let's move on to this one. Now there's a, a lot of uh, controversy over this. People say not to fill this whole cylinder up. So when you pump this up, you're filling up the slip yoke. 
which is this, so it moves back and forth. Now the controversy is that they say you should not fill it all the way up because you have the vehicle lifted up off the ground and once you put it down, you're putting pressure on it. Now if you put too much grease in there, that puts pressure on your drive shaft, um, which can lead to further problems. But Toyota says that you should pump it full until you see grease come out of these seals. So it's caught in between here. And, you know, a lot of people have good reasons to why this shouldn't be full and it kind of scares me to cause more damage to other things but why does Toyota say to pump it full? I have a theory that you could pump it full if it was on the ground putting pressure on it. The grease is already getting pushed out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump it like they say people on the forums to just pump it basically until this moves. I'll probably let it move a little bit more than it should just to get a little more in there and then we'll put it on the ground obviously drive it a little bit come back and check it out and see if uh, grease is coming out of here and see obviously if our, our clunk's gone away. Um, but we're gonna do that just just to be safe. So same thing. Get the pumping, baby. See, this one could take a lot of pumps. We're gonna move now. So we'll let it move a little bit. I mean, I would assume you want to push the old grease out, but I can also get the concept of putting too much pressure on it. We'll try that. Worst thing is. We'll come back and we just add, add more grease, that's all. All right, those two are done. You gotta do the rest. There's one more slip yoke on the front side and then you do the rest of your U-joints. Like I said, the U-joints can continuously be greased and uh, yeah, let's get this done and see if our uh, clunking has gone away. Am I done here? Appreciate your assistance, lady. Alright guys, she's all greased up. Time to lower the car and then we're gonna go for a little drive, try to hit some bumps and things like that. And then get back under there and see how it is. I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of grease that flung everywhere. But I'm gonna go back underneath, clean it up after we drive and see if any grease came out of that slip yoke. Because I'm really curious about that because you know the whole debacle back and forth. Uh, so I did play it safe. Hopefully that may get rid of the, uh, the clunk and we're gonna find that out too. So uh, let's lower it and let's go for a drive. Very important, don't forget to put it back. Okay, so before when I put it in reverse, started moving, I would hear a clunk. So far, nothing. I think we're drive. No clunk so far. So let's uh, let's take it out with a little bit more speed. Okay, right, so so far, low speeds. I don't hear any clunk. No clunk on takeoff, like so. And now we're gonna get to speed. And check on these uh, slip yokes. See if uh, any grease came out of them. All right, and sure enough, grease has come out of there. Not a whole lot, uh, but grease has been pushed out of there a little bit from hitting the bumps and everything. Let's check the other one. So at the front, I'm not seeing a whole lot of grease. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm not seeing any grease been pushed out of there. So maybe I could put a little bit more in there. Go we'll drive around, hit a couple more bumps, things like that, kind of push it out. Or I'll just leave it for now and see how it does. So that's it guys. We just finished greasing the slip yokes and the U-joints and I can tell you that it is 100% gone. The clunk is 100% gone and I am so relieved because when I first felt that, I thought it was catastrophic. I thought the transmission gearing was all messed up or something bad was, was going on. And it was simply just that. It just needed to grease those things. Oh, we forgot to tell them. Like, what does the clunk mean if you're curious? Like, maybe you got a little crazy little so the clunk, basically, what is it? It's a basically, it feels like it's from the rear. Like I felt it from the rear of the vehicle. Basically on takeoff and going into like reverse. Like boom, like a clunk, like a jerk. So that's what it was and this is how you fix it. Remember, everything for uh, the products I used, link down below in the description. Those are affiliate links and I appreciate you guys using them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If I missed anything at all and you're curious about something, if I didn't cover it, uh, please leave it down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer that question if I can. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys. Ah, I'm going to a playground. Bye.
Bye. See you next time. See you next time. Noggin. <laughs>